Today is a beautiful day for science. Currently, we're looking at a multiple M-class flare event that occurred at region 3311, the newest region to rotate onto the Earth-facing disk, newest region named. This region has caused a uh, multiple event already on the, uh, while it was on the backside of the sun. Now that it's rotated in a view, we've seen an escalation of where this event has had multiple M-class flares that have occurred in a chain of events. Very beautiful overall. We're looking at the initial escalation occurring and peaking at a, an approximate uh, M3.82, occurred at 2023 UTC. That was actually two M-class flares simultaneously. This is a, uh, almost simultaneously. They were minutes apart, if that. <laughs> and we can actually see, when you're looking at this uh, imagery here, 94 angstroms, the event actually shows two peak points. See it again at 90, uh, 131 angstroms. And this double peak point is because there are two interactions occurring simultaneously. The peak of that is just meaning the more intense flare was registered over the less intense flare. Um, but both were M-class range from what we can tell. There was an additional M-class range that occurred uh, shortly after that at 20, uh, 2034 UTC, which peaked at an M3.46. An additional one post that occurred at 2041 at peaking at an M3.01. Then we had another M class over a prolonged period of time, which is the highest M class we had at the point of M4.5. And this occurred at approximately 20, uh, 2105 UTC. And then a final M class peaked at 2.41 uh, M2.41 at 2128 UTC. So we're looking at the imagery of this on SDO, on the high resolution imagery that SDO provides. This event is an escalation of a lot to do with, and looking at the HMIBC that we saw earlier, uh, has a lot to do with the fact that the leading umbra is very small compared to the very large negative field. And you can see that looking at 1600 angstroms, how this is reaching out and branching out to different areas, having that flaring activity. Very beautiful overall. So that's the event we're looking at. And to look at some of that data, we can see here that our current flux is at C6.1. The current peak flux uh, uh, was that last event still showing at an M4.5. And that uh, event occurred at 2105. But we're seeing that, for one, <clears throat> no proton flux rise from this, which is a good sign. I don't think there will be. Uh, <clears throat> pardon me. Additionally, there is a visible CME that does occur. And looking at GOES imagery, which updates a little more frequently, a little more rapidly, being lower resolution, uh, shows that there is a CME that occurred, chronomass ejection. Does not appear so far at this point to be an ICME, but we'll know in a few more hours. Uh, through data as that plasma, if it does exist, had, did, had, had, did happen, it will show up on SOHO and Stereo Ahead's imagery. <clears throat> so as the event we're looking at, that CME, we do see some of that plasma from that eruption is moving all the way to the southern point. And you can see the entry point right here as that plasma is moving into 3311, the southern hemisphere region that's rotated in the view. Now, a lot of times when you see this kind of activity, there is a response of that region of this introduction of additional plasma. So I would not put it past expectation of seeing some activity, but right now there's really no way to know exactly what expectation levels there are. We do know that region 3310, which is the Southern Hemisphere region once again, is already at an X-class potential due to its polarity uh, layout and the amount of activity and size proportion-wise of that region. So this is the current update. We're currently seeing the multiple M-class flares and the peak being the M4.5. Uh, currently, there does not appear to be any uh, plasma projected towards Earth, no ICME projected towards Earth on uh, what we can see so far. And there, the solar flare, of course, travels at speed of light, so we're impacted the moment we see it, taking approximately 8 minutes and 20 seconds to reach Earth from event. So that's the update. Cheers and science on.